spend eight hours of my life to make 50 shitty games, okay, I will do that then. So, Jonas Tyrola decided to challenge the whole goddamn internet to make 50 games in one day. And let me tell you this, I was getting many requests after this video came out from people saying, Oh, do this, do this, do that. So, you know what? Fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna make 50 shitty games for all of you guys to watch. I mean, it's gonna be terrible. I'm never gonna play them again, but oh well, it's content. Am I right? Anyway, this is gonna be a pain. Um, it's gonna be just annoying. Okay guys, so we're on game one and I'm gonna start a 10 minute timer for this. And we're gonna get into it. So let's go ahead and press start, there we go. And then in my game number one, I'm gonna go ahead and create myself some basic wall. Let's just drag that up like that. I'm gonna drag myself a player and create an enemy. Now, I've already imported some scripts, so I've got a script for the player movement because everyone else was doing that in their videos, so I figured it would be fair that way. Um, and now I'll go ahead, I'm gonna create a random enemy spawner and I'll be back when I do that. It's gonna be impossible. It's an easy game to win. Well, it's an easy game. <coughs> Because you just have to dodge this, right? Okay, so that's our first game done. Time to get into our next game. So I'm gonna make sure that I save the project and then file save project as. I'm now gonna call it. Can I not? Okay, two. So this will be our project two now. And this time we're gonna create a something even more simple. We're gonna basically just have a uh, coins equals zero, basically. Let's set it to global. Coins equals zero. Add event, draw event, and uh, I'm gonna do draw GUI actually. Draw GUI, make sure we do a draw underscore self so that we actually get rendered in. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw underscore text. And then let's just do it at, I don't know, like 130, and we do global.coins. But let's ensure that we do this points boom plus that like so and then basically if collision with player we're just changing it instead of game restart we're gonna do global dot coins add equal one so we get a coin <coughs> every single time let's test this out um by the way i haven't restarted the timer because i still have six minutes so um okay and erica that that's okay we don't care about that there we go. Let's do a comma there, there. Let's launch that again. We still have six minutes, so this is good. We created the first game in like five minutes. And there we have, there's a little coin collector there. Okay. Um, important stuff is instance underscore destroy. No, that's not, uh, destroy other. So we ensure that the other enemy gets destroyed so we don't get infinite points. Let's go have a look. One point, okay. And then, important thing is, we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna change that to game underscore start, because if you don't catch it, you lose. And then, once it destroys the other thing, it's gonna also create a little, another enemy. So we're basically just recycling what we already have, but this time we need to catch them. Anyway, we're moving on to game eight right now. God, this is 50 games. We're not even like a fifth of the way there. Look what it looks like. Basically, we've got to dodge these like logs. Okay, that's way too big. Okay, cool. We can dodge these logs, but it's not long enough for me. <laughs> Let's make it like uh, 800, probably. Also, this game, like, okay. Let's remove it and, like, okay, what does that look like? 
Um, that looks okay. We can we can, we can play with this. Okay, let's have a look. There we go. We've got to dodge these logs. Pretty much the same game, but this time you've got to try and fit in between. I've got eight minutes twenty-two seconds left on this one, on this game, which is crazy. Um, four points. Ah, oh, okay. This is actually kind of hard because I can't get enough points. Cool. I'm not gonna be playing loads of them. Game twelve. Let's go. Um, all right. So for this game, we're gonna do the same thing. This time there is no enemies, so easy game is just how many points you can create, connect, uh, get the most. So no enemies this time. Cool. <laughs> Very simple game. Let's go ahead and save this as thirteen now. We're going to works we've got another game yes it actually works it actually works okay it's actually kind of hard you can't even see the points so I'm gonna quickly like because I'm because I want to do this draw underscore set color to um, black set it to black just just so we can see it you know there we go we can actually see the points now cool Okay guys, it's been a long day. I've got my game 50 left to do. Now, I'm gonna do a very simple game. You have two players, and you can't collide with one another, because if you do, you die. Collision with O player. Game underscore restart. Let's do that. Let's add some enemies and some points, and I think this will be the last game. Let's test it out, and this will be my last game, I believe. Awesome, this is actually terrible. But my last game has been finished, guys. It's been a long day. Um, don't know how I did it. 50 games. I mean, here is my folder with 50 games. 50 games, guys. I've never made this many games. And Jason Tarola, actually, just please, just why did you think of this challenge? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'm dying. Okay, so I have created 50 games that I'm never ever gonna play because they're so bad. But either way, it was a really good experience and I really suggest you guys try it out because it kind of allows you to like test yourself as a developer whether it's possible. I think the biggest problem with it or like the biggest issue is having the ideas because actually making the game was easy and relatively fine in the amount of time. It's just 50 games is a lot of games and you have to have ideas for them and the ideas can't be elaborate, they have to be simple so that you can create in 10 minutes. Now, I didn't spend the whole eight hours. I actually spent a lot less than that. I can't remember how long I spent. It's been, it was quite a while, but I think Game Maker allows you to sort of reuse a lot of things really quickly, unlike Unity. So it was quite like enjoyable. Either way, I think the beginning process of it was really fun. Later on, it was getting like really boring and notorious because I couldn't think of ideas, but I recommend you guys to go ahead and try it out and I'll leave links to other developers who have tried this challenge before and obviously Jonas Tyrola for inventing this goddamn thing. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you have and uh, I love you all guys. Have a good day.